Welcome back, everybody. My name is Taylor Martin. This is the Best Damn EDC, and today I have an unboxing for you. And typically, I don't do a lot of unboxings here on the channel, but uh, this one seems like it might be pretty interesting. I, I've been burned by subscriptions in the past, like um, the Club Tech, whatever the one I did years ago was. Um, Battle Box, I, I don't know, they, they got kind of chintzy after a while. But at Blade Show this year, I had a chance to talk to Daniel at Going Gear, and he convinced me to try it out. And Bo, who I you guys may remember from the pocket dump video at Blade Show, the really tall guy, um, we've been talking a lot ever since Blade, and he told me that I really need to try it out because they want to be a little bit different than those, not a little bit different, a lot different from those chintzy, cheap subscriptions that just sell overstock stuff that nobody really wants. This is heavily curated EDC gear that, in theory, should be very good and worth your money and worth more than what you're paying for the box every month. I don't know which one this one is. I was just told there's some good stuff in here. So we're going to open up this box, see what Going Gear EDC Club is about. And with that said, let's do the damn thing. Okay, so no beating around the bush. Let's just open up the box. Uh, like I said, I don't know if this is just the regular EDC club or the premium. It feels heavy, uh, but that really could be either one, honestly. So let's just see what's inside and we'll go from there. I'm sure there's a, a card inside that will tell us. Regardless, either subscription that you get, you should be getting more value than what you're paying for it every single month. So the $60 box, it'll have at least two items in it. And uh, that should be worth more than $60. Otherwise, why are you paying for it? And then the 200 one will be everything that's in the EDC club plus one premium item. I think it's one premium item that is worth, um, worth more than what you've paid in total. So this is the premium club. There we go. So we have uh, best way to keep, it says the best way to keep your everyday carry up to date, Ace Beam E70 titanium flashlight. Trayvax wallet, Swiss Army knife, and a Lander mini lantern. So let's see what this is all about. I was actually just talking about these Trayvax wallets just the other day, actually yesterday with you. Um, let's get all of this out of the box and then we can talk about it individually. That is a hefty flashlight, a very hefty flashlight. And a Swiss Army knife with a little sticker and some packing peanuts. We don't need that. We'll keep this paper off to the side. So this would be a $200 box. And what we're seeing here on this paper is this Ace Beam flashlight is already worth over $200. Um, the Travex wallet, I know they're in the $30 range. This is $35. They're going to sell a lot. This is a serrated Spartan. So Spartans are around $30 usually. And then the Karen Mini Lantern seems, seems pretty cool. A lantern with a bungee cord um, that is supposed to be about 25 bucks. So let's take a look at each of these things. Uh, let's go to the ace beam last and start with the Swiss Army knife. They've just been kind of on the brain lately, and I'm interested to see it's a fully serrated blade on this uh, Spartan. I've had a few Spartans, it's not a model that ever really stuck with me, and I don't really love uh, serrated blades. But let's take a look at this. And because I know you guys are gonna ask, uh, this knife right here, I just got this in. I bought this back in like November or December. This is the TW Price Designs Dawn and uh, manufactured by Best Tech. It's just really sick. That's off topic, but I know you guys are gonna ask. Okay, so the Spartan is a similar Swiss Army knife to the Tinker, which I talked about in the last video. The biggest difference being it has this uh, 90 degree or right angle Phillips instead of the corkscrew. That's really one of the biggest differences. And also, of course, on this one, the Spartan has a fully serrated knife edge versus just a plain edge. But that fully serrated blade is, is pretty unique. If you're doing a lot of cord cutting or something, this one could be handy. I don't necessarily ever use serrated edges, but if I'm gonna have a serrated blade, I'd rather it be fully serrated than a combo edge. But there's nothing super special about a Swiss Army knife um, of any sort. They're a dime a dozen, but they're really, really handy. I'm never gonna complain about having another one. So that's cool to see in there. The other thing we have is this armored summit. So the summit wallet is just this. 
this metal plate with a canvas strap, one inch adjustable canvas strap. The Armored Summit has this little plate right here that goes on the front. And I believe that makes it RFID blocking. Uh, I think that's really one of the only functions that plate serves other than adding weight to your wallet, but it also has a built-in bottle opener right here. This honestly is my favorite Travex wallet. They've got a lot of different models, price ranges a lot um, from 30-ish dollars all the way up to 200 and beyond. And I think this one is still my favorite. It's minimal, it's very, very compact, lightweight, you can put a little lanyard on it, uh, but it, it doesn't do, it, it doesn't overcomplicate a simple thing. It is a minimalist wallet or card holder. You can still store cash under this flap right here. The way this works, set the right thickness, and then you can tighten down this strap to kind of lock it to the width that you use. And then you can put your cash right here on the back quartered. So that's cool. I'm actually gonna keep this one in my pocket now. So this lantern, this is the Lander Compact Rechargeable Lantern. This is not something I would carry every day. I will come out front right off the bat and say that this is not an EDC item for me, but from what I gathered, um, this box does kind of teeter on some of more like outdoor or survival stuff from time to time. And I think there's a lot of overlap in EDC and uh, overlanding outdoors, backpacking, survival, all of that. It all kind of goes hand in hand to a degree. So this just slides back and forth. This makes it so that you could just attach it to a pole or really anything. But how does this work? So there's a button here. Oh my Lord, that was brighter than I expected. What do you do? What am I missing? It doesn't say anything about how you use it though. I imagine there is a manual up here that will solve this mystery on off just click it no that's that's strobe uh yeah i got no ideas nothing <gasps> what did i do I, I didn't change anything, but it's turning on now. It's not dimming though. <laughs> I'm confused right now. I'm, I'm missing something clearly. It's working. That is full brightness. Wow, that is quite bright actually. And then to turn it down, you hold. Nope. That's what it said do. Oh, it went dim. Interesting, so it doesn't like go the other way. It goes to full brightness and then it dims and then you can brighten again. That button is kind of hard to press. But it's working now. So I do think this could be something that I actually use backpacking for sure. Uh, I don't know if it'd work as a headlamp. It looks like it might be a little, <laughs> little short for a headlamp but you could definitely attach this to a bag or literally anything else. Um, I like that. Cool design, I like the colors. Pretty cool. Hadn't heard of this thing before and I think that's one of the things that, that Going Gear really kind of flaunts with its, its subscription box is that you can find and discover stuff you've never heard of before. I think it's tough to have a box like this that everything is a hit for everybody, right? That's pretty much impossible. But things like this, these are the things I like learning about. And that's why I like my channel and doing the EDC Weekly. I learn about stuff from you guys, but this is another way that I can find and learn about new things. So um, not explicitly an EDC item, but I think it's cool nonetheless. All right, and this is the big premium luxury item that they mentioned. And it is uh, a very <laughs> hefty flashlight, as you know. Uh, I don't really need any more flashlights, but if I were to add one to my collection, it would be something like this, a big fat titanium flashlight. That's interesting. So we've got a little carrying pouch in here. It's cool, I guess. I don't, I don't really need all these accessories they put in with flashlights, but what's cool, look at this. So you have your charging cord. So this is a USB rechargeable flashlight, USB-C rechargeable, which is nice but this little cord has a port on it. So you can plug this in and then charge something else. 
I guess. You get obviously some additional O-rings and gaskets and stuff. Remove before first use. I'm sure it's got a protective cover on the battery as well. It does. That is a hefty battery. A 5100 milliamp hour IMR 21700 NP type C battery. So it's not the flashlight itself that's USB-C rechargeable, it's the battery. So you have to pull the battery out and charge the battery, not plug in the flashlight. It's really cool. I've never had anything from Ace Beam. I did not know that Ace Beam made titanium kind of higher end flashlights, okay? It's got a moonlight mode, steps up. Not sure why you have to long press to turn it on. Turbo, that can't be turbo. No, it's not. That's turbo. So, interesting. All these different UIs are hard to keep up with, if I'm gonna be honest. Nail down this UI real fast. That is some very tiny font. Okay, on is double click, okay. Once it's on, you can double click to get to turbo. That is very bright. Okay, that's that's not so bad. Double click to turn on and it has memory. So it will turn back on at whatever mode you had. So this is the low mode, not moonlight, but this is the low mode. It's being turned off and it comes right back onto that same, but moonlight, press and hold. That is a very dim moonlight. Can you even see that? Very dim. And then you can double click to get to turbo. Quite, quite bright. You can feel the heat off that. Very, very cool flashlight. Don't get me wrong. Again, I don't know that this is EDC because this is enormous. Uh, this is the flashlight that I carry every day. This thing is literally twice the size of the uh, Okluma DC0. Uh, it's, it may be even be three times the size. This thing is enormous. So my takeaway from this is uh, if you were going with this regular box, you're not getting this $200 flashlight. You're getting these three items right here for $60, which the Travax wallet is about $35 according to this paper. The Spartan is $30 and then this Lander headlamp or lantern is $25. So that alone, you have $55. $85, $90 worth of stuff right here. And then if you're getting this more expensive box, you throw this in, you're paying $200 for about $300 worth of stuff. Now, if this isn't your jam, if this isn't your stuff, you can sell off a Spartan, you could sell off the Travax, you could sell off each individual item if you didn't like this stuff and probably come out on top, probably profit. The Ace Beam is gonna be the hardest thing to sell because a $200 flashlight in this size and configuration is gonna be a big sell, but uh, it's a badass light for sure. Yeah, I think this is a high quality box with some really cool curated gear. It's something that I wouldn't mind spending my own money on to see what pops up, just to discover some new stuff. So I think going gear, I, I haven't really given them a fair shake because I've been burned by so many subscription boxes, but I'd say this is pretty neat. Pretty good stuff. So thank you, Daniel and Bo, for shipping this out to me. Let me check it out. There you go, Going Gear, I, I got nothing for this. There's no affiliates or anything, um, but if you are interested in checking out Going Gear, the EDC Club, it's all gonna be linked in the description down below. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think about this subscription box in the comments as well, and uh, that's it for now. So thank you guys again. I'll see you in the next video, and until then, carry on.